Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. My name is Samphoria. Saturday, the 20th of spring, year one. It's going to be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Pretty sure it's beautiful and sunny today. And the day's in our hands. There we go, all the sprinklers. So if you missed last episode, it was a really rainy, rainy, horrible day. But the barn was finally upgraded. And we bought ourselves our first little sheep. We also chopped down an amazing amount of... Oh, nope, don't go in there. An amazing amount of wood. Uh, that one. And all sorts. So make sure you go and check that out. We actually still have our hat on, which isn't... We don't want our rain hat on. We want our tiara on. Because we are fabulous. So we'll go and change that in a moment. Oh. No, I wasn't trying to milk the sheep. Goodness gracious. So yep, this barn has been improved. It now holds like 10 animals and they get automatically fed and it's just brilliant. There we go. So one of the things that we do need to buy, which I forgot yesterday, is some, um, some shears from Marnie. Goodness, it's getting beautiful in here. Um, and that's to shear the sheep when the sheep is old enough. We also want to make a machine to turn the wool into cloth. Oh, apricot. So we want to see how we can make those two. Uh, we've got a few of these to grab. A bit of kale as well, which is nice. Go. Plenty of green beans. Which is lovely. Uh, water them. Oh. Oh. Please water them the right way. And come out of water. And we also managed to make um, quite a few new sprinklers. We've actually got some waiting in a chest ready for autumn so extremely exciting so let's grab this and we'll pop those in there and then we can go and sell whatever we've got left so what we want to go and do today is go and buy um oh, let's sell these today we want to go ahead and buy something from robin which is yep parsnips green beans so we want to go and buy a new shed from her a new um chicken coop ready for the dinosaurs and we made quite a lot yesterday so we were able to grab everything that we needed let's just get grover hello grover come on and it's going to go up by the um up over here let's just check that the space is clear yep it's going to go right there and then the dinosaurs will live up there. I think they'll enjoy it up there. So that is what we're planning on doing. And then we can start upgrading all the, all the other stuff. I think we're only going to have four dinosaurs. So we won't need to upgrade this coop at any time. But construct farm buildings please. Uh, let's just try and move this one. Because I want to see, so I want to, like that, with a two space gap. Okay, that's fine. And then we'll build this one. And we'll build this with the same two space gap behind it, just so that we can put a two, ga um, a two path there. And it'll line up perfectly with this. So, got one, two, three. There we go. Okay, thank you very much. So we head back home. We should be able to fit the horse down the back. That's one of the other reasons why I wanted it like that. And I'm not too sure what we do with like the dinosaur. I don't know if the dinosaurs make eggs or what. I'm not too sure, but I'm sure we'll find out. 
yeah so you can just fit nicely through here so what we do want to do is clear this area and just make some of the fences i see a lot of the trees have grown up and i'm trying to keep these little ones so that they can grow into big trees and then we can chop them down but some of them are gonna have to go i think like these little ones aren't too these ones where they've already like half grown i'm gonna try and try and leave them as much as i can because it saves us having to plant them and we're actually picking up like nearly everything that falls on the side which is pretty amazing so we'll clear this space and then we will make um let's let's use this we will make a little fence to go around here they don't need too much space and because it's going to go all the way down here they should have plenty of room so we need a gate and we want some wooden fences or do we want some stone fences i think the dinosaurs might it might look cool if we had stone fences for those we've not used stone fences much before so let's use stone ones okay so we want them like this then we'll put a fence And then we'll actually bring it up um, to like right at the back just so they've got a bit a little bit more space I want them to have a little bit of room just go in there and hit those there we go so that should be pretty cool in there they can run around and do whatever and should be pretty awesome so I'm gonna get rid of some of these just because there's so many of them so we do have some fences left over but that's not a problem and we want to clear this space out I'm gonna have this area looking so good how are you guys getting on on your farms if you started one of the new farms how far through are you already how are you finding it I started as I mentioned in the last episode I have started playing on a um, the wilderness farm because I wanted to see what that was like and I've not done too many days only only a couple of days I'm, I'm not that far into it um, and it's actually really cool but I haven't seen anything at night time I don't know whether it's not been late enough or what but I haven't actually encountered any horribleness so I've been quite lucky I think clear a little bit of this grass I do like the grass being around so I'm not too fussed uh, let's grab this tree because we have as you can see so many everywhere else I'm just gonna grab all the trees it doesn't really matter there's loads and loads that are growing in their place so they'll be fine and I want to make sure that there's loads growing because um you know it's a real renewable thing that we can do is we plant the trees and it means that we don't have to um, go and get them from anywhere else I know we did the other day we went around um, kind of like south of Marnie's and Leah's and got a lot of trees from there but that's just because we were there we may as well so we'll get rid of some of these smaller ones will these go with a yeah we will okay it's okay and then I did notice as well is that we had this mushroom here which is really exciting um, I'm not too sure I don't want to chop it down I think that we can actually put a tapper on it and it will give us um, mushrooms which is really really cool and we do have a spare tapper so I might grab it and we can test that out but we're really starting to get like pretty much all of this farm kind of cleared up and looking good so really really cool so hopefully by winter we'll have quite a nice area to um, plan where everything's going now these ones I will get rid of because they're so close to the water there's literally no point in them being here because what I'm planning is that all this bottom corner I think is going to be where the crops go um, now 
you can get something called a slime hutch. Oh, there's lost. <laughs> you can get something called a slime hutch, um, which in theory is something that sounds pretty cool. You can like get slimes in it and stuff and grow them and then obviously when you kill them you can get different things. But from what I've seen, it's not they're not really worth it. So we might get one just to try it out, but it's not something that I'm kind of gonna plan room for because they're quite big. Um and I'm not too bothered if we don't get one. I mean obviously in future updates if things change and they become a bit more needed then we can but um at the moment i'm not too bothered about getting the slime thing there we go we've literally spent the entire day gardening <laughs> oh well lots of fun right let's go and grab grover just clear this out a little bit i do like having the grass all over everywhere but I like it once the trees have grown because then you can actually see them. Like right now, they just look a bit strange. So, come on, horsey. Uh, okay, everything is done by the looks of it. Oh, and I didn't get any more extra seeds for those plants. Oh, fudge. Um, I can make some more. Let's grab more parsnips and we'll go and chuck those in the seed maker uh, da, da, da. oh my goodness we are so full of stuff i'm going to shut the animals in just because it's quite it's a lot easier having to milk them and stuff when they're in there so sorry gals and we forgot to go to marnie to go and grab the she is but the sheep's going to be a little while till he's old enough so it's not too much of a bother please excuse my phone it's so annoyingly noisy okay so we've got some of these ready uh, we've got these ready uh let's put these on actually and then we will grab something for we need four might grab salmon berries actually what are these these are salmon berry jelly awesome so we can see just how much money we're gonna get from these salmon berry oh we've got like 40 of those why don't i use those Aha. yeah okay let's use the mixed seeds because we've got loads of those They've got eight days. They should grow in eight days, right? Yeah, I'm sure they'll grow in eight days. And to water them. And I know, I know, I'm tired, I know. Go okay, miss one. <laughs> and let's go and pop these in. One. Oh, these are done already. And these oh my goodness so much stuff i definitely do want to put a chest down here though with kind of or wherever we we set up the main seed thing like i said i think it's going to be down at the bottom with kind of like that season's um seeds in it i think that'd be really really helpful and then we've got everything quite close by there we go sleep for the night so we have made 5,133 gold. How much did those salmon berries make? Not too much. 336. So I don't know how that divides by four. Um, probably like 118 or something each. Or like 78 or something strange like that each. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's more than just one single salmon berry, so that's okay. So if you have enjoyed today's episode, please like, comment, and subscribe to become a sparkle. I hope you've all had an amazing day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!